Okay, this is Master Carpenter Series Part 1. And what we're going to be basically talking about is designing, figuring, all the little intricacies about bastard hips, mixed pitch, uh, hip roofs. Okay? And this is Part 1. So... With that in mind, let's just get started. You see, I got a blank piece of paper here. And uh, we're going to be using the Texas Instrument 30XA calculator. I'm going to be able to show you how to, how to cut a roof with just a six ten dollar $10 calculator. And this calculator you can buy anywhere in the country. Anywhere in the country. For many, 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 many years, you're going to be able to buy this calculator or a model similar to it with the same button function button button functions uh you're gonna be able to buy it all over the for for, for decades you don't have to don't worry about it so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to show you how i get this thing started all right this is before you even get to the job site now let, let's let i'm just going to walk you through the whole thing see here I'm drawing a triangle what I do then is I I go like halfway in between here I go halfway in between of that run and I make another line okay I need a stronger pencil here which I do have somewhere here I guess I'm gonna have to stick with this here it is Then I come over here, I parallel this line with the bottom of the sheet, come this way. Then I pivot that up and I connect that. All right, so you basically got an isosceles triangle and a right angle triangle. Then what I do, well, let's do this. So I want you to all be able to follow me really easy. I connect that one. I connect this one. So you look like, you see, you got a pyramid there. Then what I do is I get a line here. All right. And this line here represents the run for the hip. So this line here, and this line, and this line, that's one triangle. Then this line, and this line, and this line is another triangle. But then this line, and this line, and this line is another triangle, okay? And all of those right angle triangles, they meet right, right here, you see? This one meets here, this one meets here, and this one meets here. Just so y'all know exactly what's going on and what I'm doing. And so you can follow me step by step. Now, look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a line here, a parallel line with this line. Okay? drawing a parallel line to this line and then I'm going to draw another parallel line to this line and it's going to be higher this right here represents the plate height difference okay for the steeper side versus the shallow side okay so it basically looked like a triangle another triangle drawn inside on top of the bottom triangle okay because there's going to be a plate height difference now look at this we're going to deal we're going to make this one a 12 12 pitch okay 
My hands are not working that good today. So bear with me. We're going to go with a 12-12 pitch on this side. And this side represents this side here. This right here represents the king common for the 12-12 side, okay? This represents the king common for the, we're going to make this side, the 12, the 7-12 side. The 7-12 side. I do want to write big enough so you can see it. My hands are not working today. Okay, so this is the 712 side. This is and this is the 1212 side. Okay. And this right here, of course, is the hip. This line is an imaginary line. Okay? It's an imaginary plumb line. Okay, for all three of these rafters, the 712, the hip, and the 1212. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to say that the run, I always figure for the 712 side first. We're going to say that the run for the 712 side, we're going to say is 20. Oh, boy, I cannot write today. 23.25, okay, inches. Now, what we want to do is change these 23.25 inches into feet. And you just multiply this number by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. So you just go 23. 0.25 divided by 12, not times 12, but divided by 12. And so it comes out to 1.937 feet. Okay, so we got the same measurement in feet and in inches. That's the run, okay? I'm gonna show you what the run looks like. I'm gonna show you what the run looks like. So you can get a good idea of the concepts that I'm bringing. Now the run is this line here. This line here represents this line here. You see that? This line this imaginary line here at the top of the half represents this line here, okay? And that's where your triangle, that's where that triangle is, okay? The triangle for that one is right here. I just got it reversed, all right? So, now what we do, so this is the top of the half, all right? Now what we do, is we got 712 and uh, hold on a second okay I'm going to show you something else as well I'm going to show you something else as well with the framing square. Now, this is a 712 pitch. So when you're looking at the reading the framing square, you look at the body of the framing square. This is the tongue and this is the body. On a, on a framing square, if you go to 712, and if you look at this, it says common rafter length per foot run. And it gives you for each inch of common foot run and we can see it's 1389 all right so a 712 pitch in every foot that you go out is going to go up seven inches and the hypotenuse is going to be 1389 which is basically 13 and 7 eighths 
1389. Okay? Now, you take this 1389 and you multiply it by 1.937, which is we already got. Times 1.937. Okay, so we're going to do that. Times 13.89 equals. So that means that this rafter for the 712 side is going to be 2691. 26. Point. 90. One. All right. Now we're going to change that into feet. So you divide that by 12. And so now you know how many feet. 2.242. 2. Uh -oh. 42 feet. Okay. So we got our inches and our we got our inches and our foot is what this should be, okay? Hands are not feeling good today. All right, so now the reason why this is important, this is useful, the foot, is so when you're ordering your lumber for your takeoff, for your roof, you know what size lumber to order. And even though we haven't figured the tail in, all these, all these measurements, different measurements, they help assist you in knowing exactly what lumber size you need and, and, and so on and so forth. So now we got the rafter length. Now what we want to do is get the, the, the rafter height, okay? And so to get that, what you do is you take... 1.937, 1.937 times seven inches equals 13.55, nine is really what it is. So we're gonna say 13, oh boy, my hands do not wanna write, 13 point 559. I'm going to write it to three decimal places. All right? And that's inches. All right? So we know from here to here is 13.559 inches. And so, hold on a second. This wind is blowing everything around. So, so this line right here up to here represents this line right here it represents this level line going from here all the way up to the top of the rafter and on this is 13.559 inches right now what we do is we take this 13.55 inches okay Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to stop right there. We're going to hold up right there. And we're going to do part two next.